Today, we're going to play a nation that has an interesting early game, a very micro-intensive mid-game, and a very rewarding late game. This is getting out of hand. And of course, I'm talking about Switzerland. No, not really. I'm talking about Bulgaria, which has, in my opinion, the best focus tree in Hoi 4. Araman, historical, and let's go. So we will start easy with Power to SR. Unlocks a lot of things we will need. Technology-wise, I'm also going to be very boring for the beginning. Later on, I will go into planes, but for now, I want to get main industry rolling. And if you haven't played Bulgaria with the Battle for the Bosporus DLC, which you will need for this focus tree, they have a lot of negative modifiers. And the worst one is army restriction, which cripples our industry and makes our army useless. We can't even delete it. So, yeah. We'll just do nothing with the army for now until we get that fixed. As a second focus, we will condemn the Macedonian organizations. This has the sole reason that the British like us more and we need their help for the rearmament. So yes, we want this. Go. In the background, we have now unlocked faction management, where we have four different factions. The Sveno, the Broad Socialists, the Agrarian Union and the National Socialist Movement. All of them kind of support an ideology and if you don't deal with the right factions, they will start civil wars. So what I want to do now is to integrate the Sveno very early on because they start a civil war in about two years from now and also the Grand Union because they give us advices that we need. Why that is important, I will talk later about. I don't want to spam you with faction stuff <laughs> for five minutes. And I don't know why. I tend to always play nations that don't have artillery in the beginning. What is this? Oh, let's just research it and get it over with. So we're done with this focus. The next thing I will do now is to rush over here, acquire modern tools, which improves our industry by a little bit. And even more importantly, it brings us to negotiate Bulgaria and rearmament. That is what we really need. I will also legalize the agrarian union now and do anti-IMRO propaganda, which brings us one step closer to removing this horrible political power modifier. Negotiate Bulgarian rearmament. Let's go. Now that we negotiated rearmament, I will cooperate with the Svenne to get them integrated. And I know I'm probably butchering these names. I'm not Bulgarian, so I'm trying my best, okay? And as a first step towards rearmament, we will demonstrate our policies of peace. And as you might later in the video see, this is quite ironic. And because I have some leftover political power, I will improve relations with the British right now. And as my next big focus, we will go into the Tsar regime. Because yes, we will go down the monarchist path. With the Tsar regime done, we will now go down this path of the focus tree for the sole reason that I want to buy Italian and German guns. Because even though we are monarchists, and this looks like it's in the non-monarchist part of this focus tree, you can still do this. And we will need a lot of guns to fight our neighbors. So we're gonna rush that. And now that we did all the things we can do, I will negotiate Bulgarian rearmament. The United Kingdom lifts our army restrictions. There's no time to lose. Begin rearmament. Very cool. Now that we can finally do something with our army, we will do the obvious thing and delete it. We need the support equipment to hunt down activists. For that, I deleted my entire army. Yes, shut up. There's another way you can also do this, but this is more fun. Anyways, building back the army now from scratches. And finally, we can integrate the agrarian union, giving us a lot of political power and stability. By the way, I'm so sorry. I activated the night cycle again. Why? <laughs> agrarian national union integrated. We gain the political power and the stability. Also finish the IMRO decision, which also removes the bad PP modifier. With the excess PP we have now, I will buy the leader of the Korean Union for even more political power and even more importantly, daily democratic support. You might ask yourself now, why do we need democratic support for playing the monarchy path? To finish this mission, for which we need 20% democratic support. So yes, we need democratic support, at least temporarily. Is it stupid? Yeah. But it's also kind of fun that you kind of play around with ideologies. I like it. And now I will start to integrate the Sveno. In the background, I will now improve relations with Germany and Italy. I could have done it a bit earlier. Then we could have started these focuses already. But we need some other focuses too, like restrained paramilitary organizations because they give us a lot of manpower over time. I will also stop talking about the faction management that much. Just know I like it because it gives you something to do and it has nice bonuses. And I will try to integrate everyone. And thanks to finishing this focus over here, we can also start to justify on Greece now. They will not be guaranteed this early on in the game, so we're basically fine. And with this focus done, we can now actively buy guns from the Germans. <laughs> boy. I just improved my conscription law before I even improved my economy law because we need manpower really drastically. Our economy is not big and we use most of our ships to buy guns from Italy and Germany anyways. So just trust me there. I lost runs because of this. Get the manpower. Please, Mr. Mussolini, guns. Yeah, Austria got Einfluss. They should have just made a faction with Hungary and just reunited Austria-Hungary. And another faction integrated. Beautiful. 
I'm just buying so much equipment right now from Germany and Italy. It's so good, though. It's so good. Ah, a tasty research slot. I will now risk it and go for the illusions of a non-partisan system because this gives me once again more political power and because I'm still buying a lot of guns and I need to reform a lot of my nation once we go to war, especially manpower-wise, I will do that. Once again, buying more guns. Beautiful. I can even buy Italian ships. I think I don't need them right now, but maybe later. What I will do next now is to get these military factories over here because we can get up to four with these two focuses. Very tasty. I will also give my military now artillery guns because I will probably need it. And yeah, these decisions are now half cost. So this is a very good focus. So my war goal in Greece is now done. But Greece is guaranteed by Romania, so we will have a good old two-front war. <laughs> ah, yes. And I will start to build a little bit of CAS now. And because some of you might be interested, I just make this standard CAS. Nothing special. We should really start our war now. It's very early 1939, and if we don't do it now, we will probably never get the chance to actually do it. In the long game, we should have an easy time. Let's start the war now. What I can also get myself is some army reform, so I will get some bold attack, quick improvisations because of the command abilities, I will also have to do some last stand because, um, yeah, they, they kind of force me to do that. Otherwise, I will just get overrun. But I do have air supremacy thanks to all the fighters I bought. So that's good. Going up to extensive conscription now. And yes, I didn't change my economy law just yet. I don't have to pee for that. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think I'm starting to win now in the south at least. I was afraid for a second I had to restart this, but uh, no, no, this is fine <laughs> for now. And things I completely forgot to do is to make offensive lines, which would have helped me a lot. Okay, this is going well. The north um, is the north. Prussia of the Balkans, giving me non-core manpower, division recovery rate, and a lot of other nice modifiers for a lot of things. Let's take it. Greece finally has capitulated. I'm gonna take all of this stuff, thank you very much. Which now means I can put my combined army against Romania. Very cool. And finally, I will go up to war economy. Okay, it took forever. I never had the political power. Now I have it. Be quiet. <laughs> it actually took forever. Reconquest of Bulgaria. Let's go. Of course I do last then. How do I have so much command power? What? And because we're about to enter the fun part of our possibilities, I will now do the plot against Boris. Goodbye, Boris. Why do we have motorized our cavalry infantry? What? No. I need them for garrison. How many times can they spam last stand after they did force attack so often? <laughs> <laughs> they did it again. How? Romania capitulated. Beautiful. And I will take everything. And also the Navy. Thank you very much. And now to the next big war. Oh, no. So we will be at war with the Allies, which is, you know, you don't need to be, but we are. It, it doesn't matter. We will just crush them anyways. Ah, yes. Fun. <laughs> Now we'll now start the Bulgarian tank program. Is it a bit too late? Yes. Do you care? No. So we're currently missing manpower and guns. And I know some of can get both. Our garrison. So I will put it to no garrison to fill up my army. And I will attack Yugoslavia as soon as we can. And yeah, now that we have the guns, I will go back to local police force. Freedom of press. Allowing me to integrate the broad socialists. And with that out of the way, let's attack Yugoslavia. Let's go in. And yes, immediately join the allies. Wow. Okay, the Soviets are about to get the war goal in southern Bessarabia, which means I will release Moldavia. For some reason, I didn't get the event that lets me just give it to them, but I guess that also works. They can still declare for this one, but uh, it should buy me enough time. It gives me a nice wall against the Soviets. They're relentless. <laughs> oh, good news. The Yugoslavians joined the war against the Axis, which means they will be very busy now fighting on a lot of other sides. and will probably get air supremacy immediately because the Axis will send in all of their planes. Nice. And Yugoslavia has capitulated. I got even half of it. <laughs> Very cool. And to keep myself safe, I will now use my army to protect my coast. I uh, really will need that. And at least this time we get the event so we don't have to fight the Soviets. I actually don't mind that for now. Upmost optimization. Those are some nice modifiers. Let's go. Now that our industry is optimized, let's optimize our government. Execute the plan. The death of Tsar Boris III. Oh no. Anyways. And now we have two choices on who will rule our nation. A Regency Council or Sir Ferdinand I, which has dreams of a new Byzantium. We both know we will choose the right. I have to be honest, I completely forgot about integrating the socialists. Um, not because I couldn't, just I forgot about it. <laughs> so I will do that now. Bad luck that I got another strike, because I could have avoided that. Yeah, this nation has a lot of things to think about, I'm gonna be honest, but that makes it fun. We now have this beautiful fella as our new leader, and with this now done, we can also go into the fate of the Balkans, giving us our own faction. This is why I didn't join the Axis, by the way. And 
even better stuff. And with nationalist propaganda done, we now get Bulgarian integration of the Balkans. This is the strong feature Bulgaria has. We don't just get cores from finishing this, no. We also get the option to integrate every bordering Balkan province that we have a core next to and we own. So we basically can core every province in the Balkan as Bulgaria. And I don't understand why they don't give this more nations. And now with the focus done, we can integrate provinces once we hit 30 compliance. We're actually really close to that in these provinces in Greece. We just have to wait a bit longer. But to boost our compliance, we can get the next focus. Restore the Bulgarian Patriarch, which gains us more compliance. Very cool. And what I just noticed is that every factor is green. So why would they say no? Every factor was green. Hey, we can integrate the first state. Let's go. And we also integrated, good timing on that one, the socialists, let's go. Uh, that was actually good timing there. I totally planned this. And integrate next province. And now is a beautiful next focus, the third Bulgarian empire, giving us industry. Very cool. Man, the compliance bonus from the last focus is so strong. It grows so fast right now. A new color. I don't know if it looks better, but it does look different. And yes, we're not done yet. Hey, I tried it again. And Turkey actually joined. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Wait, it actually worked. <laughs> I did it. He did it. Oh no, we have a problem with the allies now. I feel like at this point, dreams of a new Byzantium might not be the wrong choice of trade I have. <laughs> I didn't plan this conquest, but I like it. Oh yeah, Italy. And you're beautiful. Already fell to the allies. Hey, but look at this. I got all of this. That's cool, right? That is a very nice pocket. <laughs> They're all gone. Oh my god, it was a huge stack wipe. But yeah, that basically secures the Africa front. I just need to take care of this here. Because Italy fell and all of the puppets. Let's start the counteroffensive. Hey, we can call more land now. Oh my god, look at the cast damage I'm doing. That is... <laughs> Even Switzerland joined the allies now. Maybe they're still angry because of the intro. Oh my god, the cast is still so big. I do hate this front lines going into neutral territory. They, they should really patch it out. This is such a problem for such a long time now. Talking about Air Force, this is just way too much damage. Why do you use like a biplane as an icon? What is this? Ah yes, this is how we hide the secret. It's actually a biplane, not a jet. The allies will never figure out our secret jet project if you use a biplane as an icon. That's genius. Okay, I feel like I just did a monstrous encirclement so let's go so i worked very hard on cutting the axes off and now we can just push i love to see that we see like fighter jets versus biplanes they're having so huge losses what what i also can do right now is integrate turkey actually looks pretty sick an entire turkish army will basically just delete because i don't need it and i feel like i've officially become some kind of byzantium yeah and rome has fallen again and wow the italians capitulated to the italians now i kind of wait for this italians to take over the land of that italians so i can take the rest of italy no yeah, just a normal war nothing confusing right release libya why not don't need it for the peace treaty anymore i have to be honest like it's 1945 now but this ability over here bulgarian patriarch the daily compliance you get is huge oh yeah i'm in switzerland now oh i'm melting switzerland what how am i pushing this hard oh oh that, that's why and to top it off we have to push through the Maginot line why not i just saw that japan is going into india what is going on you haven't even finished china but they call australia and new zealand they have hawaii no comment anyways hope you see my point that the bulgarian focus tree is like a lot of fun and you can do a lot of it and by sure coincidence why i wanted to show that off we formed byzantium i mean in, in some kind of way hope you enjoyed the video until next time bye I also found a solution for the denied cycle hotkey problem, so next video this shouldn't be as bad.